There are four prominent bony landmarks on the anterior, the palmar side of the wrist. On the ulnar side, we have the pisiform and the hook of the hamate. On the radial side, we have the tubercle of the trapezium and the tubercle of the scaphoid. Now, a note about this plastic skeleton, the scaphoid is a bit more recessed down in a way. That tubercle of the scaphoid should be a bit more prominent there on the anterior side. Over on the left side of the screen, we have our live model wrist, and we can start right here. There is the pisiform. To find the hamate, we go about this far distally and about the same amount toward the midline, and right there is the hook of the hamate. Pisiform, hook of the hamate. Pisiform, hook of the hamate. Over on the radial side, I look for the tubercle of the trapezium, I find the metacarpal of the thumb, I drop back until I feel the joint line, there's the trapezium, there's the tubercle of the trapezium, I drop back proximally a bit and I feel for a prominent uh, protuberance of bone and there is, right here, yes, is the tubercle of the scaphoid. So. These four prominent landmarks are important because a ligamentous fascial structure runs across them, and that structure is the flexor retinaculum, also known as the transverse carpal ligament. Again, it goes from the ulnar side pisiform and hook of hamate to the radial side tubercle of trapezium and tubercle of the scaphoid, and that fascial structure is the roof of the carpal tunnel. So therefore, if we know how to find these landmarks, we know how to identify the location of the carpal tunnel. If you liked this video, know that it is part of our video streaming subscription service. Click the link below for more information and receive a free ebook when you sign up.